So the question has been asked and is being asked, does the discovery of the Higgs boson or the identification of the Higgs boson or something like it uh, rule out God? Uh, of course, the Higgs boson has been called various things, including the God particle and also the God dam particle. Uh, first of all, what is the Higgs boson? The Higgs boson is a particle that has a very elusive, ephemeral, almost invisible, um, fragmentary existence uh, as it jumps in and out of the infinite void. Uh, it is a force field, but it's a virtual force field, which means it's a possibility field that uh, then acts like a virtual force field, which is the Higgs boson, which imbues other particles with mass. So uh, by doing so, uh, it creates or it um, gives rise to or it imbues the physical universe with its properties, which is mass. And of course, mass, energy, space-time, gravity, all of that. So the Higgs boson is definitely a step in the direction of a unified field theory, uh, which says that um, uh, there is a process called symmetry breaking, where the unified field, which is all the forces that coexist as possibilities, uh, emerge through this breaking up of symmetries into the galaxies of the universe. So what does this do to our idea of divine creation? Well, it certainly changes the idea of uh, divinity, you know, but it doesn't really get rid of the idea that um, this uh, divine field of possibilities could be infinite consciousness itself, that it is infinite consciousness that through this process of symmetry breaking uh, becomes the observer, multiple observers, multiple modes of observation and multiple objects of observation, um, which is what this universe is. Our perceptual experience of the universe is not the ultimate reality because our perceptual experience, as I've mentioned before, is a species-specific um, experience. It's a qualia experience. And we haven't solved the problem of uh, what gives rise to those qualias or how a physicalist explanation can give rise to the experience of form, color, touch, sight, taste, smell, texture, etc. So while the Higgs boson is a, a very important um, uh, addition to our understanding of what creates the universe from a physicalist point of view, it doesn't really solve the problem of um, why it exists, what was there before, and if we understand that uh, every particle, including the Higgs particle, um, is a formless uh, wave of possibilities, that all particles, including the Higgs particle, are also waves and they are formless fields of possibility in a field of infinite possibilities then it only strengthens the notion that the universe comes out of a nothingness which is everything. Uh, as Rumi said, uh, infinite worlds come and go in the vast expanse of consciousness and uh, they are like motes of dust dancing in a beam of light. Um, look at these worlds coming out of nothingness, this is within your power. Uh, I come spinning out of nothingness, so do you come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. The nothingness from where we come is not an empty void, but the womb of creation, and it is the mind of the infinite being, and we call that infinite being God. Uh, furthermore, perceptual reality is not ultimate reality, and even the Higgs, Higgs boson is an extension of our physicalist ontology in that, uh, you know, we need a hadron collider uh, to identify it or evidence of its identity um, by watching certain um, phenomena and, and doing certain calculations. You don't actually see the Higgs boson because it's a virtual 
force field. In fact, all particles are virtual fields as well, and they all spring from the field of infinite possibilities. And in my view, that's the mind of God.